everyone, I'm Michelle. I'm Nicole. And we're here on a cool, crisp fall day with you to purge your spa. Ew. Another good reason to use a system cleanse or a spa purge is when you acquire uh, or buy a used hot tub um, and you want to cleanse the system, even if the, the previous owner was really good about their chemicals and they, they took great care of the spa, I still would system cleanse, spa purge your spa. Uh, just to make sure that you get all the biofilm and the just the nasty stuff that that forms in the plumbing that you can't see. Uh, biofilm is actually uh, it's a it's a sludgy kind of material that builds up and it builds up this thick layer, kind of like a mucus in a way, and it hides the bacteria behind it. So then the bacteria can grow more and more, which is pretty nasty, and uh, that can lead to rashes and, and uh, things like that. So whether you're you know get a new spa, um, you're buying a used one. Uh, you've had your spa for a couple years and you've never done it before. Um, it's, it's great to do the system cleanse. Step one, make sure your spa is heated at least to 90 degrees or above. Step two, remove your filter or filters. Some spas have one filter, some have several. So however many filters you guys have, pull them out. Step three, we prefer this product here. This is called System Cleanse and it's by Haviland. There's to do with this is take the whole content of the bottle and pour it right into your spa, the whole thing. And then you let it think about life overnight and it's gonna get angry and bubble and fizz and you're gonna see lots of stuff coming out and into the water. Don't fret, keep your cover closed too. When this is happening, I like to peek at mine occasionally because it's just kind of fun to see what's going on. Um, and then next day, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna drain clean and refill that tub and we'll get to that in a little bit. And now we're gonna pour the contents of this bottle. This happens to be the Haviland Spa Pure System Cleanse. The whole bottle goes in the spa with the spa still. And as I mentioned earlier, it's going to get all angry and start fizzing up and removing um, within the plumbing, the calcium deposits, uh, the mineral deposits and your biofilm, which is that icky, sticky, nasty buildup that looks like a sludge. And it's going to get all of that out of the system. Now that we've poured this in, we're going to touch and hit our jets. Okay. You want to go on high. As high as your spot can go. And let that do that for about five minutes. It's all in the back of the bottle if you forget. And then we're also going to let this run overnight, and then uh, in the morning we're going to drain, clean, and refill our spa. So, we've been running this for about five minutes now. I have recently done mine, so you're not going to see quite as much stuff uh, coming out of the system. Uh, but you do want to do this about once a year. It's a good time to do it. Or if you have a big function and a lot of people over, uh, it's a good time to uh, cleanse as well. And we'll be coming back in a few hours just to check and see how things got. And then we will be continuing the cleansing process from there. Hi, welcome back on this chilly fall night. It's been a few hours and our spa has been going through the process. Now, typically a more gunked up spa is going to look a little more funky than this. It's going to be, you're going to have more foam and maybe a little discoloration. But this spa, again, was recently purged, so it doesn't look quite so bad too fresh but just to give you the idea and then tomorrow we're going to be uh, continuing the process we're going to be showing you how to drain clean and rebuild your hot tub okay so to drain your spa you're going to either want your submersible pump garden hose or a lot of spas have uh, what's called a quick drain and it'll be found on the corner edge of your cabinet somewhere it's getting a little dark out right now um, but what you do on most of them is you just pull this out and then you can connect a garden hose to it if you want. Um, otherwise the water will just kind of pool right by your hot tub um, and then connect the garden hose and leave the water wherever you want it to go. Um, I prefer the submersible pump way just because I feel the quick drains can be a leak point at some, to uh, some time and if you pull them out sometimes they don't go back in well or vice versa. So I personally prefer the submersible pump way. You just put it right in the water and away you go. It's morning time and I used my little Wayne pump, yeah, to drain my hot tub. Next, we're gonna start cleaning. Okay, so now we're gonna start wiping down the shell, your spa surface. Um, I like to use this Haviland Spa Cleaner. It works really good at getting grime and dirt and just minerals and stuff off the surface of the spa. 
You can use Windex, you can use um, like a mild solution, like a 10 part water to a one part chlorine, a uh, really mild solution if you want. I prefer using the Haviland Spa Pure Cleaner. Um, Windex can kind of foam up once you start to refill the spa, so I kind of shy away from that, except for maybe the top of the spa you could use Windex. Um, also keep in mind, you want to also tend to your cover. Now that you're you know, treating your spa, you want to wipe down the underneath of your cover. If you have a sunshiny day, which we do not, uh, it's a cold October day, um, you can just face this upside uh, to the sun, you know, and let the cover breathe. So, one of my other tips. So what we're gonna be doing is, this stuff here is, is just lime and calcium, okay? And that happens on a lot of spas. We have very hard water where I live, so um, this stuff cuts that down really, really good, as you can see. Um, it gets right in there, get around the jets. I am meticulous and I will get some Q-tips and I will be going around the jet faces and such. Next, we're gonna show you a, a shot of the spa all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, we're gonna do a short video on how to restart your hot tub. We're gonna show how to fill the spa, uh, add your chemicals in our spa series. So thanks for watching.